Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is super exciting because today my Mac collaboration with my Mac collaboration, my collaboration with Mac launch. It launched now. It is live. You can buy it. I created a lipstick with Mac if you didn't know and the shade is called Lar Lar Lee. Now I've already posted a vlog on this lipstick and yes, I'm wearing it right now. But I've already posted a vlog on it, which I know a lot of you guys got to see the behind the scenes of me actually going to the MAC Cosmetics Labs in Toronto, Canada and making this lipstick. So if you saw that, you already know the good good. If you haven't, I'll link that down below and that way you can get a sneak peek of some behind the scenes beyond making my very own lipstick with MAC. And thank you so much, MAC, for believing in me and collaborating with me. It truly means the world to me. It's a dream come true. And yeah, let me go ahead and swatch her for you. This is her. This is Lar Lar Lee. I created this lipstick all by myself. Well, not really all by myself, but this was all, I was all behind this. It has a matte finish. It's going to be $17. It, it launches today. It's, I'll have it linked down below, of course, and you can buy it now. And I'm so excited about it. Unfortunately, it's only sold in the US. Matt collabed with 10 beauty bloggers or 10 people in the beauty industry and I was the one for the United States as well as Gabriel Zamora. He created one too for the United States and ours are sold only in the United States. They collab with 10 people around the world and me and Gabriel were the United States people so ours are only sold in the United States. So for my international viewers, I am deeply sorry with that because I know it totally sucks but I am doing a little giveaway for you guys you get the note that I wrote as well as the little lipstick and some confetti I'm gonna choose four winners all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below and you'll be entered to win I'll pick four people and leave it in the description of this video in about two days so yay <laughs> I just wanted to get back to you guys. You guys support me so much. This intro is kind of long. If you want to jump into the tutorial, you can totally do that. I, I just have to thank you so much for all the support and love. Oh, Mac Lar Lar Lee. When I started my channel, I never really seeing it getting to this point and seeing YouTube grow itself throughout the years and become so much more than just little makeup tutorials. Like, YouTube has just became like this huge thing and and I started over four years ago and it wasn't that big of a thing and now it's it's just everything and and I, I'm just like in shock of all the world around me and all that has happened through me posting videos on YouTube. So the journey has been amazing and a little information behind the shade by the way. Um, I created the shade that I created because I normally do wear a nudie pink lip. That's no shock or secret. You guys are like, der. I normally mix together three to four four shades, like a nude lip liner, a nude liquid lipstick, a nude lipstick, and a nude gloss, like together, mix it all together to get the nude color that I wanted. This is the color I would always try to achieve. So when I was in the lab trying to create my perfect nude shade, <laughs> I created the color that I, I had always been trying to create. And it's such a wearable color, it's so easy to wear, it has a matte finish, and yeah, that's why I created it. Created it so it would be easy, you could throw it in your purse and just go, Eh, eh, eh. Don't even have to think about it and girl, you know it looks good. Okay. So thank you guys again We're gonna go ahead and jump right in. I'm gonna show you this tutorial very light natural But I wanted to do an easy look to go with the easy just show you how easy the lip is and um, Kind of had like that everyday moment with it And I also added some faux freckles But they're kind of not faux freckles because I just added the faux freckles pretty much on top of my real freckles because all of you know I'm a freckly girl and I've had freckles my whole life. So I just added them on top. Whoa, this intro is getting long, girl. Let's jump right in and get started. First things first, we're going to prime our face using one of my favorite primers. This one is by e.l.f. as nothing on the... Great. And I just get a little dab out like that. It is a white lotion -y feel and I just massage it in, especially the place where I have more pores. Like right in the smile line. I feel like it also feels tacky, so it like helps the makeup adhere. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Next to Nothing Foundation by MAC. If you haven't seen my full review on this, you can watch that. I'll link it right on down below. And basically, this is a foundation that adds a bit of color to your skin, but not really that much coverage. So, I mean, I want a little bit of coverage, so I may add in a little dot of my Pro Long Wear Concealer in with it. But I'm pretty much just going to use this so my freckles show through, and you can really see the skin. You know what brush I'm going to use. <laughs> I'm going to use the Y6 brush from Mufi Morphe. I'm just going to start... Blending this on out 
Ugh, why does hair always have to get my makeup? <laughs> I'm just gonna like try to sprinkle it around my nose. See how it does have a little bit of coverage? But I will try to go back and add a little bit of freckling on to my freckles to like basically make them pop again. Very lightly going over the nose. And then just a little bit across the forehead. My unibrow area gets really red, so I like to get some coverage on there. I've always had a red unibrow, like right through here. The skin has just always been red, so just something I live with. And if you can see, like, you can still see the freckling, especially right through here and even a little bit on my cheeks. And we'll try to intensify that. So moving on, I am going to take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Just getting a small amount on the back of my hand. I'm going to take a G36 brush from Morphe. It's got that little, look at that stray hair coming out of it. I'm going to have to cut that. Get out of here. Little haircut. So I just, like that darkness right in there has got to go. Whether we're doing natural Nelly, everyday glam, kind of makeup look or not. Girl, we ain't playing with dark circles. Uh -uh. So I'm just going to like... Add a little bit of it on the my brush and just pat it out. This is like a mini kabuki brush. It's so cute. Maybe a little around the nose too. Like that. Next up, I'm going to take the setting side from my Wet n Wild Contour Palette. This is a really nice affordable setting powder. I'm going to take an M510. Yeah, that's right, M510. I normally use this brush for putting highlighter on, but I'm just trying to use it today because it's clean to like, Set this makeup, honey. Honey bunny. Because I don't want these dark circles. I'm just going to go ahead and set places. If you have places, specific places to get a little greasy throughout the day, um, I recommend just go ahead and toss in a little bit of that setting powder onto those areas. Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit of MAC Give Me Sun. And I'm just going to take... Girl, where is your brush? A Morphe e53 elite collection brush now the great thing about this is not actually a bronzer it's a mineral skin finish so it's really natural on the skin and i'll just swizzle some on my brush and instead of contouring it literally looks like you're a little bit sun kissed and i'll just dust it around this area just to warm it up and then i'll go ahead and start dragging it right around the forehead area because the temples are naturally an area that gets sun kissed anyways <laughs> And just like in a circular motion, we're just going to buff all that out. And a little bit on the chin. The chinny chin chin. And I'll even drag some down the neck just so my neckline matches and looks a little contoured right through there. I love the sun kiss look. I just think it looks so pretty. I'm going to grab just a little bit of the Wet n Wild Bronze Contour and just snatch my nose a little bit. And I think I look really bronzy and warm. I'm going to take my white four brush and I'm going to go in with a bit of this Rimmel London in like Kate Moss. This is like a goldy iridescent -y blush color. And I'm just going to pop that onto the apples of the cheek. This is a very warm uh, blush color and it like almost has a golden sheen to it. And I think it's so pretty. If you want to clean up your bottom jaw area, you can take a little bit of your facial powder. This is my, and just kind of like set everything just so you don't look too orangey down there. I'm going to take an R36 brush and my Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. We're going to light it up, people. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit right here on the upper cheekbone and just make sure to blend it where there's no harsh edges on it. And then I'll swoop it right up and maybe a dab on my forehead. I'm going to add some on the nose. And now I am going to do some faux freckling. <laughs> this is an L04 brush that I'm going to use. And as you can see, it's a tiny, tiny, tiny little pencil brush. I'm going to use some of the brown contour side from the Wet n Wild palette. And come on now, open. Ugh. I'm just going to get a tiny amount. And what I'm going to do is like trace the freckles that are already on my face and just darken my natural freckles. If you don't have freckles on your face and you wanna try this out, you can do more clusters of freckles through here and have them scatter about throughout your cheeks. You can honestly do it any way that you want to. I've had them my whole entire life. Even when I was a little bitty, I had these same freckles. 
I would go very light-handed when doing this. I find that you wouldn't realize because freckles are such a faint thing on people's face, but from a distance, like, they add up. You can even pat it out a little bit. I would personally prefer using a cool tone product too when adding freckles rather than like a give me sun. I feel like it's a little too warm, but you can technically do, you know, whatever you want. I'm kind of faux freckling, but I'm kind of not because I'm just like tracing out where I see my own freckles peeking through and like deepening them because I've put makeup on top of them. I'm actually going to get a tiny eyeliner brush to do some of these so that they're more sporadic on my cheeks. And then I'm going to pat them so they're not so aggressive. And there you have some faux freckling. I'm going to now put on my eyebrows and I'll be right back because we're going to do just very minimal makeup to our eyes. Next I'm going to take my paint pot and soft ochre and just do a little bit of eye priming. I'm just going to rub this on my as far as the actual eye look goes, like my overall goal here is to make it like as simple as I possibly can. I want the lashes and lips and like faux freckles and all be like the moment to take here. I'm going to take the <coughs> pinch of my shit. Oh. That just pinched the fire out of my hand. Okay, I'm going to take the 35R palette from Morphe and I'm going to... <laughs> Grab this color right here. This is an M573 brush. I'm just gonna pop this in the crease and work it back and forth, back and forth. Small swizzles and then like that. Mm -hmm. Then with my finger, I'm gonna take this pretty champagne color. I'm just gonna pop it onto my eyelid. I mean, like so easy, right? And then I'll go back in with that blending brush and just soften the edges. I'm going to take that color and put it in the inner corner as well. And that is legit. All I'm going to do for eyeshadow, like I said, I want like the skin faux freckles and lips and all to be the focus of this look. And then I'm going to add a pair of my favorite lashes that I've been wearing nonstop. These are my Amy by Lily lashes. Oh, they're so pretty. You can't stop the tears from falling. Da, 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 da. You always want to trim your false lashes before you apply them because, girl. If not, you could have a disaster on your hands. You're about to see the drama these are going to give me. Oh, they're so pretty. <laughs> I like to put a little bit of the lash glue on the back of my brush and just like swipe it across the lash band. And then I'll set my lash down and allow it to dry the glue to come a little bit tacky. Not dry all the way, but just to get a little bit tacky before I apply the eyelash to my eye. That way it sticks way better and it's just like so much easier to apply. Next I'm going to take a little bit of my Estee Lauder eyeliner and run top line so it like helps hide the lash band. Because no one would ever be able to tell I'm wearing false lashes. So honestly with the lash part, like you can take parts from this tutorial that you love. You can leave parts off. If you're not a false lash girl, I completely understand. Just build up your lashes with your favorite mascara. The look will come out just as pretty. I, however, am a false lash girl. Like I love them so much. I just can't. It. I'm also gonna add a little bit of my Big Shot Mascara by Maybelline and I'm just gonna roll it under to connect my real and false lashes together. I mean yeah lashes add the drama and they make the eyes look like kind of flirty but I feel like you know building up your own lashes is just as beautiful natural look too. I'm gonna go back in with our pretty brown shade right here and dust it on the under eye area. Now to really open up the eyes, I'm going to take Fake Awake Liner. This is the Inner Rim Liner from Tarte. And I'm going to line my inner waterline. However, some of the black liner is dripping down from my top line, but we'll pretend that it's not. And now I'm just going to take a little bit of that mascara and add it to my lower lashes. And last but certainly not least, I'm going to take my child, Larla Lee X Mac Cosmetic and apply it to my lips. And last but not least, I'm going to add a little bit of my MAC Finishing Spray to kind of like seal everything and melt all these powders down together. All 
right, guys, that is it for this video. That is my little toot toot. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I also used some of my MAC favorite products in this video. So, again, my lipstick is launched now, and um, I hope you enjoy it as much as I've been enjoying it. So, only online, unfortunately, only for the U.S., and that's where you can get it. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here and watching. You guys are so amazing. <laughs> and I'll see you all in my next video. It's not every day you create a lipstick with MAC.